Alright, so I've set, uh, chosen to make a canopy anchor. I'll pull my line up. As soon as my line clears my anchor, then I know that I have enough to make my ascent with. At that point, I can tie my alpine butterfly um, where I'm standing, put my throw line, put my throw line in through the screw link. I like the wide eye of this screw link because it makes it easier for the climbing line to clear when I pull it up. If I'm going to be make, making a lot of movement in the tree, I'll make this a little longer. If I want to make a traverse, I'll make this length, this climbing length, the, this line, long enough to do what I want to accomplish in the tree. Okay, so here's my SRT system. Doesn't matter what you use for a uh, ascending device. It can be a rope wrench. It can be anything. So for this particular uh, example, I'll put on a unisender, and this uh, swivel will represent my my saddle. So I have the choice of either hauling my DDRT system up. Or I could have taken it, I could have taken it with me, but it's very easy once you get up to haul it up in the tree or take it with you. If you do a limb walk, you need to remember to take this with you. If you're doing uh, something that you, you're setting your line and this is pulling you to that other limb or it's taking you to your destination, then the tail automatically goes with you. This tail of the SRT climbing system is the other end. It's the, it's the end that makes up my DDRT system. So let's say, for example, we set up the DDRT to go someplace else. So that system that system is now set up to take us wherever we want to go. And all I have to do, if I want to go this direction, is pull myself over, let this one out, pull myself over, let that out, and the whole climbing system goes with me. If I want to do a redirect, I just drop down, and there's my redirect. If I wanted to continue, I'm going to yard my line down there. If I'm going to continue on the SRT, continue on the SRT to the ground or wherever I wanted to go, I can completely remove this DDRT system. And now, I'm back on my SRT with my redirect. I can work the tree, I can go from there, or I can set up another destination with my DDRT. Say I wanted to come back up this way. So I set that up. And I can pull myself up this way. Now what I do know is that these are all one climbing line, it's all connected, and I have a certain, whatever the length is for my SRT, I have the other half of that or the other part of that for my DDRT, so say I've used 50 feet for the ascent, um, I come to this side and I've got 150 feet. Uh, for a DDRT, so I can judge my descent. Most of the time I'll have a straight descent to the ground on the DDRT leg. Uh, because what happens is if I want to descend on this, remember, remember this uh, running end of my DDRT system?
That is the recovery side of this SRT system. So that would be coming with me. If I were to make, if I were to make a descent now on this SR, uh, on this DDRT system, and let's assume I pulled that with me through that redirect. As soon as I get to the point where the SRT is is slack, then I can start pulling that through, and it recovers my whole SRT system. It may have gone through. It may have gone through some other redirect. It might be up. It might be up there someplace, and I'll be. I'll be coming down on the SRT here or DDRT. Once I get to a point where I'm ready to release that, I can come off of that SRT system and that recovers and comes with me. I can reset it for uh, another SRT someplace else with the screw link. I can choose whatever length I want for my SRT and reconnect SRT and still be on DDRT. So it's using both systems. Now, this is one more thing you can do with this setup, utilizing the DDRT end of it. Simply by using a Kong Futura hand ascender and a DMM revolver fits nicely into the handle of the hand ascender. I have given myself a 5 to 1 mechanical advantage for a pickoff. And I've done some tests with this in various configurations, but the amount of lift I can get from this point varies depending on the pulley or friction saver, cambium saver you have here, and the type of pulley you have here. But generally I can get between 550 to 850 pounds of lift in this configuration. Not that useful, but if you had handicapped climbers, it's also a useful configuration for a 6 to 1 mechanical advantage climbing system. But um, for myself, not actually that useful for climbing. But a great system for uh, all kinds of rescue scenarios, pickoffs, and times when you need that extra pull the extra strength or just the pull direction